someone came home from work and went a little nuts. But is this not the best cut crease I've done in like ever? Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or you've seen this series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. I'm looking a lot more glam than I usually do. I am filming, excuse you car, I am filming this at night after work on Monday and I kind of went ham. I pulled out my Pen That Palette subculture and I wanted to do a look with Axis because I have not been dipping into Axis recently. So I just did Axis everywhere. <laughs> and then I did a cut crease and then I put Electric, the shimmery green shade, all over the cut crease area and it needed lashes. Like this look needed lashes. So I am wearing the House of Lashes in Knockout. This car needs to shut up. Yo, I almost threw hands with someone on the train this morning, so I'm, I'm not afraid to go outside and yell at somebody else. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's getting to that time where there's more like visitors and tourists coming onto the trains in and around in New York City, in New Jersey, and a uh, fun fact, just don't go on the trains on a weekday during rush hour and then complain about how packed it is. They're all gonna be sardine trains. No, I literally like I got heated with someone this morning so I'm not gonna distract you too much but if you guys want to hear more stories like that I keep thinking of like stories Teresa is dead comes out with and I have nowhere near that type of story. <laughs> But I do have a couple of cute commuting stories and some kind of really enraging ones. So if you guys want to hear like story times, let me know. I also have a whole bunch of retail story times because I used to work in retail. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a chat to get ready with me where I just story time the whole time. Okay, so let's jump into the products because I'm going to have to take off these lashes soon. I don't think I glued them far enough away from the inner corner and now like every time I blink it's like eh. I'm great at this, guys. Okay, so this was heard all over the internet and around the world about Jeffree Star and how his warehouse was broken into and they stole like $2 million worth of product. That's insane, first of all. I think it's nuts that it's such a huge business, not only just counterfeit makeup, but like stolen makeup. That's, huh. Cause they, he said that he thought it might be the same people that did the ABH heist a couple years ago and that's, horrible like I, I can't believe that it like regularly happens honestly but out of this we did get to see what the concealer looks like and I have to say I am actually very very interested um I think the issue is gonna be it's gonna be fairly pricey and I don't know what shade I'm gonna be I really hope there's a really good shade matcher finder on the website because I really need to only pick like one of these up. I don't want to buy like three because they're going to be expensive just to find a shade that matches me. So fingers crossed I can figure out what shade works, but I am very interested in trying out this concealer. And I, th I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not. People were talking about how they didn't like the packaging. I think it's really cute. I like it. I think it's very on brand. I think it's adorable. Okay, so now I feel like I'm getting whiplash from the amount of stuff BH Cosmetics is releasing. This is the Summer Loving palette. Oh, excuse me, Summer Lovin' palette. And it, uh, uh, meh. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's just a warm neutral palette. Looking at the swatch has actually convinced me not to get this. The swatches look like every other palette. That's warm neutrals that I have. What particularly comes to mind is the Mob Obsessions palette that I have from Huda Beauty. Can you guys hear the Huskies down the street barking? I think they're adorable, but they bark a lot. It's it, it's hilarious how different the um, the ambiance is. Cause I like to film first thing in the morning, so I'm filming between six a.m. and like seven thirty a.m. and it's just dead silent. No one's up. I'm filming right now at like just before eight p.m. and it's just like a symphony of sound. <laughs> Ugh. Speaking of almost 8 p.m., ignore my face makeup. I'm testing on a new foundation, put it through the test today. I put it on at 6 a.m. and now it's just about 8 p.m. So it's been 14 hours and it's uh, it's not looking the prettiest. 
So ColourPop is coming out with round two of a collaboration with Becky G, and I gotta say, even though I don't wear bullet lipsticks, these bullet lipsticks look gorgeous. God. Also, A, she's also beautiful. Just stunning. And those lipsticks look amazing. But I know I already have a whole bunch of ColourPop lipsticks. I hardly wear bullet lipsticks. Like, I just can't. But they're gorgeous. So Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with this new glow palette and glowgasm liquid highlighters. Okay. This almost feels like that meme of like Steve Buscemi as a Steve Buscemi where he walks up and he goes, hello fellow kids. It kind of feels like Charlotte Tilbury is trying really hard to be NARS right now. I'm not interested. Like I said, I've been like waiting and I don't know if I'm ever gonna pull the trigger on actually getting anything Charlotte Tilbury because I think honestly most of it's just overpriced. Uh, but this isn't even tempting me. So Norvina sneak peeked that apparently ABH is going to be coming out with lashes. I don't know why I was doing so much of this. This is what happens when I film at night and I have an adult beverage. Where the rest of my whiskey chicks at? So anyway. ABH is coming out with lashes. I'm not gonna pick them up because I already have lashes I need to use and I'm not a lash person. I'm struggling to keep these on for this video. <laughs> I'm trying to do more. I really want to get more accent lashes where I don't have to wear them in the inner corner and wear them more on the outer corner. But I'm interested. I think this is a great way for ABH to expand because they've been doing really, like every one of their releases has been like Banging. So this is a great next step for them and I'm excited to see like what styles they come out with. So I gotta say Kat Von D is just trying so hard right now because of how shitty Kat Von D is, you know, to be expected. And I gotta say this new compact, I'm not even gonna look too much into it. It's a black rose. It's gorgeous. I love black roses. My boyfriend made me a bouquet of black roses, like origami roses for our anniversary. I love them. And this compact is really cute, but you know what's not cute? Rubella. So this is actually very smart. Kylie is coming out with a setting spray right as we're getting into spring and summer. I am going to have to break out my mattifying products because as today has shown, the heat is coming. I gotta say, the bottle is adorable. The packaging is on point. I have no idea how much it's going to cost, but this might give me an excuse to buy another concealer. So, the VIB Beauty Insider event is coming up, which is 10% off for all insiders and then 15% off for Rouge and VIB. I honestly don't think this one's as worth it as the fall, because the fall you get 20% off, which is a bit more. Still not a lot, but a bit more. I'm not gonna, like, plan a haul or do anything like that for this one. If you guys are interested in my recommendations, I do believe all the products that I recommended in my last videos are still available. So I can link that up in the cards if you want to see that. I think I have actually a whole playlist of sale recommendation videos, so check that one out if you guys are interested, but I'm not going to be, you know, waiting with bated breath for this sale. Okay, so first of all, um, Laura Lee. Second of all, coming out with singles. Third of all, they're six dollars each. Yeah, that's a no. So this palette, like the rest of Tarte, flew right over my head, and you know what? Still not buying from Tarte. Still not interested. So I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested when I first saw this. This is a palette from Lancome, and it's called the Monsieur Big Palette. Maxi Palette. It's really cute. This would have been like a perfect Valentine's Day palette. It's cut into like thirds, and it says Big Crush. It's like a light kind of peachy, pinky look. They have Big date which is more pink and they have big night which are like these deep pinks these are all shades i have modern renaissance definitely sucked in by the packaging <laughs> and by the way everything's arranged it's just so cute don't need it though okay i'm actually really interested in this i want to get this natasha denona is coming out with another one of their like little mini blank and glow palettes but this one is a bronze and glow so it's a mini bronzer and a mini highlighter i have one of the mini blush and glows but I've never tried out a Natasha Denona bronzer, and I'm never gonna buy that big blush and whatever palette for over $100. I'm just not. But I will get this little mini that is adorable and has lots of product. It's probably around 20 bucks. I will get this one. I'm very interested to try it out. 
Speaking of another release that totally went over my head, this new MAC collab. Uh, it's like a palette, a highlighter, brushes, lipsticks. I have no idea what any of this is. I have no idea who this person is. Looks like another artist. It's kind of cool. But the palette is literally a bunch of neutrals with two pops of blue. The brushes look okay. And the lipsticks are just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of want this. This is the Glam Light Burger Palette. <laughs> there are some greens, there's some oranges, I see a red and some browns, and it's just actually kind of really cute. Does anyone else also just really want a burger right now? Switching over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, this palette caught my eye. This is from Mid Midas Cosmetics. It's only $20. I don't know where the brand is based out of, but this is different. I love the grungy tones in here. I'm really drawn to those two shades in the middle row on the left called Kermit and Gelato. They look very pretty. I will say these palettes also caught my eye. A for the packaging. The packaging reminds me of the Pat McGrath fancy packaging. And for the middle palette, they have a palette that's like grungy golds and greens, but now that I'm looking at it, it looks a lot like the Melt palette that's coming back in stock. So if you missed the Smoke Sessions palette that is coming back in stock, I don't know when, but I'll throw it up on the screen here. There you go. But that's a great palette, but I hardly reach for it already. And I don't think I would go out of my way to grab this palette if I got it. Okay, so I think that's everything. Some updates. I still haven't gotten my Blue Blood palette. Still waiting for that to ship. Uh, waiting with bated breath. Hoping I get it. Someone recommended I should have gotten it from Beauty Bay because they had a lot better shipping. So I'm thinking in the future I might just do it through Beauty Bay. But, uh, you, you know, woe is me. Oh my god, my life is so hard. Just pff, deal with it. <laughs> Also, I did, I don't know if I confirmed this, but I did place the official pre-order for that Certify Blue Green palette. I believe it's the Affinity 2. So I do have an official pre-order in and hopefully they'll start shipping soon. And I'm, I'm very excited for that palette. First time trying Certify, first big blue green palette, other than the other blue green palette I just bought. It's the year of blue greens. I'll have to redo my green swatch video at this point. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down below of all of these new products. If there's anything I missed that you want my opinion on, also let me know down below. I need to take the sweater off because it's hot. I need to rip off these lashes, wash my face, and go to bed. Because it's past my bedtime. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.